what would you do if a manager, a hiring manager, would ask you in HR to fill a certain position? Now, I, I, I know what happened. It happens this way. An HR business partner has a meeting with a hiring manager. You sit together and then the hiring manager tells you what he or she wants. You make your notes, you translate this into a job ad, and then you wait for the applications to come. So that could work, but for more and more cases, this won't work anymore. Really not. Sometimes you have a special case that I name specialist hiring. You're looking for somebody who is really rare a specific position, extremely hard to be filled. This is the recruiter's nightmare, the position of an international tax lawyer or something like this. So that's a case where as a HR professional, you really have to understand right away that this is going to be difficult. And then you would be in a good position to classify it that way. Say, okay, Mr. Hiring Manager, Ms. Hiring Manager, this is going to be very, very difficult. In this case, we're going to act like this. I mean, you know, there's a golden rule in recruiting. There's a golden rule in talent acquisition that says penguins hire penguins. If you want to hire a lawyer, we have to work with lawyers. If you want to hire truck drivers, we have to work with truck drivers. You want to hire a nurse, we have to work with nurse. Penguins hire penguins. So then instead of taking the entire burden of the recruiting responsibility in HR, you better do something else. And this is the way how I would react. I would say, okay, hiring manager, here is the plan. We're going to work on this together. There is no other choice. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up a project team really a project team consisting of, of sourcing experts from my side, I have some, and somebody from your side. It must be a team. And then we make sure that all those in the team at least spend 10% of their working time for this project. They must be available. You know, we have a problem here. So we're going to work on this together. And then we're going to run a workshop. And we do some interviews with people who already do this job just to find out what is so cool about this job. We have to develop an EVP, an EVP is an employee value proposition, something that we can sell later on. We have to sell this job. It's going to be difficult, so we have to sell something. And then we're going to define some selection criteria, but we, we make sure that we have just a few really just some golden critical criteria, but not much. We focus not on competence, we focus on potential. We look at those things people, people really have to be capable of from the very first day. And then we do a referral workshop with some of your people, where we take a flip chart and we look at whom do we know, who, who approaches whom, and then together in the team, we identify relevant channels, media, to attract relevant target groups. We think about this all together. You know in which media we have to publish what to attract lawyers, nurses, truck drivers. We in HR, we don't know. You, you, you know it, so, so we work on this all together. And then we jointly define and we agree on who is approaching whom. So who is going to LinkedIn? Who is contacting which person actively? And for those people who have never done this, we're going to prepare these colleagues. We prepare them how to do what we call active sourcing. And of course, we make sure that we have enough time slots for, for candidate calls and interviews. And they have to be defined before we start doing anything. So we have to have really time slots available because when you approach people, you have to make sure that you have time to talk to them. So this is massive. This is intense. This, 
this requires a lot of time and resources and maybe even money. But for some cases, you know, these recruiting nightmares, these single specialist hiring cases, I think that you don't have any other choice.